What is up, you guys? Welcome back to I Seen That Reaction Channel. I'm your boy, Mr. I Seen That. We got another reaction for you. We got your boy, Kevin Samuels, okay? Now, if you guys ain't seen the viral video about Kevin Samuels and telling a female that she was average and that she's that she can't get a high value man you guys might want to go to his uh channel and check that out but he is back and basically he's telling another chick that she's not even in beyonce's league but she kind of think that she might be in beyonce's league i mean so we're gonna check the video out and we're gonna see how it goes all right so let's go ahead and get into the video know what to actually ask people. Hi. Why are you guys just out just chasing clout trying to get a name or get some some views well, that you ain't work for? Hello. How are you? Ooh, you might want to move your face back. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. There we go. What do you got for me? <clears throat> um, so I am 28. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And um I guess I just I, you know I want to know why, you know, what what my what my stats are like. If you guys don't know about Kevin Samuel, when women come on to his show, he asks them like certain questions and he asks them to rate themselves. So, I watched a few of his videos because I found him through the viral. So, I could already see like this is already about to go bad because she's like, just, you could just see it on her face. Uh, Like, you know, I don't, I don't know what you, what do you mean? Stats for what? Because, you know, I want to be married or whatever. I want to be in a relationship, but I feel like maybe I'm a little too picky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think are you being I'm, serious or are you trolling? See, I can already, like I said, I can already see how this is going. Like, you could tell, like, she ain't even serious, man. And Kevin is not about to be playing no games. No, I'm being very serious. I think I could be a little bit too picky. But I would like to. What do you mean? Well, picky meaning what? <laughs> Um, I mean, I just want a guy that, like, you know, is successful, um, a provider, a leader, and, you know, but I feel like, do I have children? No, I don't. You go to college? I, um, I graduate. I have my bachelor's. In what? Psychology. Uh, do you want children? I do. How many? Um, I would like, you know, maybe like two or three. Okay. And do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Um, I think working is normal. I, I don't have a problem working. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Yes. <clears throat> How much would you need to make in Atlanta to raise three children in the middle class? Um, I think... Uh, me and my husband would probably need like a combined income of like a hundred and fifty thousand a year. <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. You see his face? Did you see his face? Hold up. Let me bring that back. Let me bring that back. Let me bring that back. <laughs> Hold up. Let me bring that back. Let me see. Work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Um, I think working is normal. I, I don't have a problem working. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Yes. <clears throat> How much would you need to make in Atlanta to raise three children in the middle class? Um, I think... Uh, me and my husband would probably need like a combined income of like a hundred and fifty thousand a year. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> three children. Well, okay. Well, let's that say is not gonna work. 
That is not going to work. I'm sorry. Progressively over time, because you're not just going to have like three children all at once. So the idea is like by the third child, I think we should have built wealth to at least like 200,000 annually. I think that's reasonable. Man, that's close to the 350,000. Woo! 300! 300! Oh, okay. That's fair. And how much is the psychology? How much are you going to make of that? Um... So currently I make like right around like 80,000 a year. Um, mm -hmm. And the idea, I actually am currently working towards like building my income substantially. So the idea yeah, is hopefully- but, but After you start, after you're married, pregnant, having kids, you're not gonna be working. No, you're not. Yeah, so the idea is that- You're not gonna be working full time. Yeah, the, the idea is always to, to somehow become phantom rich before you start having babies. That's not how life works. Okay. You work so you're, and you live. So you're saying how much I need more money? Do you have? Um, I have like fifteen thousand in loans. You want consumer debt? I don't have any consumer debt. Okay, how tall are you? I'm five foot three. Dress size. Um, I'm like a four. <laughs> you see his look on the. You see his face. He already knows she lying, man. Like, she, oh, this is about to go bad. This is, <laughs> a four, four, five. Back it up. My face looks a lot heavier. I hold a lot of weight in my face, but I'm, I'm petite. He don't believe that. Not one bit. He does not believe that. If y'all believe that, Y'all leave a, a yes in the comment below if y'all believe that. Do that so we can see up and down. Well, I don't really have like real clothes on right now. I kind of have. I, She's I, got I, a I waist trainer surgery, on. So I have like um. What kind of surgery? Um, I don't. I don't want to blast myself. You got like six thousand. Okay. I How really much? What's the most you've ever weighed? Share. What's the most you've ever weighed? Um, a hundred and, a hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you, you look a little, you look much bigger than a dress size. Women. I don't know, like. Why y'all always got to try to lie about y'all weight? Just be serious, man. Like, just tell us what it is. I mean, I I'm not, trust face, me. But... Okay. No, I'm not. But I'm you're not, still talking I'm not, about I said, I said, okay. But I'm still saying you're still talking about a man in the top. 8% of earners. Eight, top eight percent of earners. So okay, so I, I listened to your live with like the last lady, and I felt like you were like, okay, you're forty four. So I guess my question to you is for like a a, a woman in her mid twenties, just an average woman, like what should be your, like what should be the goal? Because honestly, I feel like you know here you stand you... still. And I need to stay still in one place. People oh. are watching this. Oh, sorry. Um, like. Because, I mean, especially here in Atlanta, I feel like Hold men... Hold on, let me, let me ask you a question. An average woman? Yeah, what your mother, average... what'd your father do for a living? Uh, my father, he's um, a professor. He's a chairman at a university, and my mom's a pharmacist. Oh, yeah, she's trying to have that good life. She's trying to make sure that any dude she get with, like, got to be top of the line. Because the way her parents' situation is... Like, yeah, if you ain't on the same level as her mom and her pops, like, you know what I'm saying, as a dude and got something going for you, she ain't trying to holler at you, player. Okay. They're above average. But they went to college. But, I mean, average people get average people. Yeah. What's, an average, what's the average black man making in this country? 
Um, you said fifty thousand. So. Yeah, actually, it's forty-two, but fifty is still. I mean, uh, how old are you again? Twenty-eight. Uh huh. Have you ever dated a man making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year? I have. How long ago was that? Um, I mean, most of them. Hold on, hold on. When I say date, I mean. Why she keep doing her face like that? Like, I don't understand why she keep making all these weird facial expressions. You just roll your eyes. <laughs> you, know what? you just roll your eyes. No, no, no. That was I was thinking. I was okay. like thinking. Okay, when I say date, I meant y'all were Facebook. You know, this is my man. He's claiming you. I'm not talking about. He's got another girlfriend. Y'all monogamous. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you ever dated a man making that kind of money? Yeah, the last guy I dated. Uh, how long? How long did you guys date? Um, we were friends for a while, and how so long did we date. Uh, for like a year. All right, and why didn't that go anywhere? He he. Um, I think because of his um earning potential, he got like I feel like. So he was like a plastic surgeon, and he about to get her. He about to get her. She about she's digging her hole. She's digging her grave right now. He about to get her. I could already tell because this is like how it always goes. I feel like he start. So we started dating when he entered residency, and like I just you see like his personal big. expression. <laughs> like he realized like all the women that were chasing him, and he's like, no, 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 <laughs> no. He, I guess. No, no, listen. Okay, listen. Excuse me? We had a difference in values. Well, Our not really. Not really. Because you're talking about the way he started looking at his potential the same way you rolled your eyes and I said, my black man made 40000 No, 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 no. Like he, okay, so he started saying like he wants to have like a polygamous family and he don't believe him. Like he just the things he, he if that's what he wants, he can get it. And he can. I I'm right. fully believe right. he can. Because why? Because he's in the top eight percent of black men and top earners. And why is she just doing that with her? Um, like look, you gotta rank yourself. Where would you rank yourself? Um, I I mean I think I'm like a you know like a, a seven. I don't do seven. You say you don't do seven? No. What is that like? What, do you, what does that mean? You can't rate. You can't use seven because everybody wants to use seven. Zero to ten, you can't use seven. Now you guys see why I don't use seven because everybody wants to use seven as a safe number. I guarantee you, the way she's been acting on this video, she's gonna say she's higher than a six and a seven. I guarantee you. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, seven. <laughs> no, no, no okay, eight. Okay, eight. Okay. She said an eight. <laughs> he about to go in on her. He about to go in. You, you, all right, now, you, now, I'm going to say something. I told you. I told you. Now, maybe that's just expressive, but if you're doing all that shit with your face, I'm going to tell you to get See, that's face. what I'm saying. Why is she doing all this weird stuff with her face, man? Like, what is that? That's not cool, young lady. I'm, I, I'm just an expressive person. It's not disrespect. Yeah, that's, it is. Yeah, you would do this. You would do this shit in church. All the time. <laughs> man, he be letting them have it, man. Hey, but she kind of deserve it. Look how she acting and looking, man. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, you asked me for my professional advice, so can you respect the platform? I sure can. Thank you. 
an eight. You give yourself an eight. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, who else would you rank in the eight category as far as like famous people? Musicians, movie stars, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Um, uh, an eight as a famous person? It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. It is not that hard. Just see, now you fishing because you know you're not an eight. Like, in like a ratio, like, not no, like, like Beyonce is an eight. <laughs> <laughs> So Kev saying that Beyonce is an eight and she an eight. If y'all think this chick is an eight, put yes in the comment below. And if you don't think she's an eight, put hell no in the comments below. <laughs> oh man. She's not an eight. Who's the image consultant in the real life? Okay, so you think Beyonce is an eight? I think Beyonce is a ten. No, she's not. Okay. Beyonce is an eight. Kelly Rowland would be a nine. <laughs> Even with her big forehead, would be a ten. Yo, I I kind of feel him on that. Like I'm not a Beyonce fan like that. Like for me. Beyonce cool, like she looked good, but for me, and probably for like a, a, a lot of other guys, like Kelly, Kelly Rowland looked way better than Beyonce. Like, so I feel him with that. If y'all think Kelly looks better than Beyonce, put that in the uh, comments below, y'all. Okay. Here she go again. So like, these you know, weird so ass faces. Just up in the category where Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not in. <laughs> Ooh, no, you are not an A. Are you in the category with Beyonce? I mean, no. This is one of the major issues. You ladies don't know how to rank yourself. So when somebody like myself comes along with some truth, most people in my profession will give Beyonce an eight. And many black women will give her a 10 because you want the guys want to give yourself higher numbers. True that. That is true. Like, just be honest with yourself, ladies. Like, yeah, you do got to have self uh, self-confidence, but you know, like, come on, just be honest. So... Are you in her category or not in her category? No, I'm not. Okay, not thank you. I mean, we're talking about thank this you. from the face. Okay. Okay, then what, then what would you give yourself if you know, understand Beyonce is an eight? Okay, baby, I'm like a six. Which is closer to reality. Because by giving yourself an eight, you automatically put yourself in the pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous. Big facts. Big facts. Like, you up there, eight, nine, ten, like, we talking about Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, I mean, all these type of different women out here, Gabrielle Union, Holly Berry, you know what I mean? Like... You, if you ranking yourself an eight, like you ranking yourself up there with them, with them ladies. All women across the world, and I'm sorry, 28 years old, your lived life has told you that you're likely not there. Not in the comment section. Are you reading the comments? You said what? I said, were you reading the comments? I haven't See, really like, seen. she just being so disrespectful. She ain't even paying attention, man. Like, word, like. Any of the comments? Okay, good. So, ultimately, what I'm trying to get you to understand is um, 
You care, you care, don't look in the comments. She's still you, looking in the comment. He just told her, like, yo, this this is why she ain't gonna win. This is why she ain't gonna win. Cause she can't even follow simple directions. You carry your weight in your face. Okay. Um and, and you said that you've uh, recently had surgery, so that typically means stuff like Here she go with the stupid faces again, like what the hell, man? Oh my gosh, this is on my page. No, it's not. It's on my page. Look, she straight up just not. Oh man, I would have been kicked her off. Like Kev, like he he riding with this, but I already know it's getting close. Okay, this is showing up on my page. Awkward as hell. <laughs> Well, I mean, life is life. <laughs> and I haven't been, I mean, here's the thing, though, man. Whoever you are on here, live stream or wherever, that's who you are in the real world. Mm -hmm. And if you're wanting a man who's going to be in the top earners of black men, mm -hmm. that's an extremely competitive place to be. I said that's top, that's 2% of men. I mean, but what if, what if your goal, like, I mean, I, I don't think income is really one of the first things I look at when it comes to a man. Uh, but it's but it is a factor based upon what you want as far as an outcome. The amount of okay, you want three children, two to three children. Are you content with having to share a car? Hell no. You already know. Like she just said, like what her mom and dad was. Like no, nah, she ain't gonna be gone for that. And if she say yes, yeah, she lying straight up. Are you content with having to drive something like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, what's an inexpensive fifteen twenty thousand dollar car? Are you content with driving a twenty thousand dollar car this for the rest of your life? Are you content in living in like an eighty thousand dollar, ninety thousand dollar home, East Point, Decatur, College Park? I mean, I mean, most people don't earn college money. Most people are normal people. See, now, now shit gets real. Like you said, now we're getting real. She over here eyeballing left to right. <laughs> because you, you start the backpedaling. But it's I like, mean, well, no. I, I just... The reality is... I feel like the reality is you want a different you want a lifestyle of a white collar middle class to upper middle class person because that's what your mother and father sound like they had pharmacist and I, professor I, I, you're breaking up I want I, I believe that my parents my parents worked hard and they afforded a pretty decent life for me and they came here as immigrants and they weren't rich so that I like the idea that I have to. All make right, but the difference is the difference off. is the difference is you're not them. You were born with Western sensibilities. Well, I I came. I wasn't born here in America. I was with born in Western Nigeria. Western sensibility. Okay. Western sensibilities. Man. But what I'm what I'm saying much, is okay. Okay. I, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Atlanta, Georgia, but you I'm live with your parents. I yes, I live with my parents. Why? To save money to build my business. You see that look? <laughs> okay. Have you ever lived on your own? Yes, I did. All right. Um, so you live with your parents to build your business. So, if somebody's making eighty thousand dollars, you 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 would be okay with the man making half of what you're making. I would be okay with the man making half of what I'm making if he had a plan and a vision. See, for see guys, here, see, this is what always comes down to. I'd accept it as long as he had ambition. See, this always comes down. Listen, no, 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 no. We know this. <laughs> yeah, something wrong with your speaker. Okay. No. The average person, the average black man in this country earns $42,000. There's no more money. There's no more ambition. There's no money tree. There's no side hustle. 
that's what the French toast they earn. Half of the men earn that. I mean, it, but can what, you what listen I'm, and understand that? I do understand. I she don't understand. understand. She lying. She don't understand. And then the men that earn more than that want a hell of a lot more. Like your ex-boyfriend who told you, oh, I'm an above average earner. I'm going to go get the moon and the stars because most guys earn less than me. And okay, so let me, can I ask you Listen. <coughs> the men that you want, the income, the lifestyle, no matter how you want to slice it, how you want to pretty it up, I've been, this is not my first rodeo. Please stop looking in the comment section. Look at, All right. Okay. So I'm about to just probably go ahead and cut because like this, yeah, man. And the thing goes, oh, when you're looking down there, it looks like you're not looking here. When you're at the end of the day, man, you can pretty it up, but you want a certain kind of lifestyle. It's a white class, a white collar lifestyle. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me ask you this. Can I ask you this? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to stop it right there because obviously she ain't getting it, and I already know, like, where this is going. So, I mean, like, once again, if y'all think she an eight, put yes in the comments. If you don't, put hell no. Like, she living at home with her parents talking about she's trying to save money and she want a high-value man. Like, and you see the way she been acting, it ain't going to work. <laughs> It ain't gonna work. So that's it for this uh video. Once again, if you guys want to check out Kevin Sanders, go check him out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but stay tuned for the next uh reaction video, you guys. If you guys are here for the first time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, I'm your boy, Mr. I see Nat, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.